Saturday Night Live had its first in-studio episode since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic on October 3rd. How the show would handle the chaotic first presidential debate and President Trump testing positive for the coronavirus was on everyone's minds. This news was a lot for us to process a day before we came back on the air after four months off. And it all happened so fast. Season 46 began with a cold open based on the debate in Cleveland. Alec Baldwin returned as President Trump and Jim Carrey debuted as former Vice President Joe Biden. Note how he carefully analyzed the socially distanced placement of his podium. Beck Bennett played Fox News' Chris Wallace, the moderator. And I think I'm going to do a really, really good job tonight. <laughs> the sketch recreated the main themes of the debate itself. Interruptions and chaos. No, whatever you're going to say, no. <laughs> Mr. President, please let him speak. We, he let you speak, now let him speak. But he's lying. I can't point out if he says a lie. <laughs> I, s I said two words, you son of a no. <laughs> Don't do it, Joe. Trump himself repeatedly interrupted both Wallace and Biden earlier in the week. He's just, he's oh, you, racist. You, you just don't. Here's the deal. I, I know a lot more about you this. Don't. Than he does. Let him finish. Baldwin lampooned some of Trump's statements about coronavirus. The China virus has been very mean to me by being a hoax, and that statement will not come back to haunt me later this week. Which the president would later in the week test positive for. So I just want to tell you that I'm starting to feel good. Uh, you don't know over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. In the debate, Trump told the Proud Boys, a far-right group, to stand back and stand by after Wallace asked him to denounce white supremacists and the Proud Boys were offered as an example. Proud Boys, stand back and stand by. Baldwin made mention of the Proud Boys and other groups. Who are you even talking about? The Proud Boys, the White Boot, the Eugenics Eagles? and flashed the OK symbol with each hand, a common gesture that recently came to signify white power. Boys, 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 boys. Senator Kamala Harris, a.k.a. Maya Rudolph, made a cameo towards the end of the sketch, acting like a mother trying to tame two children. This stops right now, all right? You look at me, Donald. You do not treat my Joe like that, all right? He's a nice boy. Come on, I got this. Uh -uh, Joe. The cold open ended with Carrie pausing Trump so he could speak at last. Isn't that satisfying? <sighs> During the show's weekend update, co anchor Michael Shea addressed the elephant in the room. Is it acceptable to joke about the president testing positive for coronavirus? Okay, look, this is weird. <laughs> Because a lot of people on both sides are saying there's nothing funny about Trump being hospitalized with coronavirus, even though he mocked the safety precautions for the coronavirus. And those people are obviously wrong. <laughs> there's a lot funny about this. Maybe not from a moral standpoint, but mathematically, if you were constructing a joke, this is all the ingredients you need.